there, Angelica. I see that you've written another essay. Well done. Let's get right into this. Okay, so the tendency of human beings to copy one another is shown in the popularity of fashion clothes and consumer goods. To what extent do you agree? Okay, let's see how you answer this one. This one's a tricky one, so let's see what you did. In modern societies, first of all, you don't capitalize the S. People are generally prone to imitating others. Why? Because we say prone to something. So whenever it's a something, then if you're going to put a verb there, that verb has to be in the ing form. So uh, are generally prone to imitating others, especially celebrities, because of the way they wear. No, because of what they wear or the goods they purchase. I consider that this is absolutely true, and this essay will explain some of the reasons why this happens with an S. The most up-to-date clothes are copied by many people. The main reason is because they believe they will be seen as popular, stylish, and worthy of being followed by their counterparts and not as. A good example of this is the royal family. Due to the fact that they wear the most popular and fashionable clothes, a vast majority of people imitate them. In fact, those people will not only copy their expensive clothes, but also their behavior, their gestures, and even the way they live. It is clear, therefore, that the tendency of those uh, who to imitate others let's see it is clear therefore that the tendency of those ah who imitate other people without the s other people's behavior apostrophe s here so the tendency of those who imitate other people's behavior relies on the fact that they desire their popular clothes Okay, um, I'm not entirely sure about that, but just that they admire them in general, but okay, that might be just a difference of opinion, no big deal. Likewise, in a materialistic world, people are influenced by the most popular goods available in the market. That is to say that, in general, the popularity of any kind of durable and non, with an N, not a T, non-durable good, because any kind of good, kinds of goods well yeah let's make it a, a, a D have an impact on the way people purchase a further point is that there are more and more products available in the market so people tend to prefer those that are purchased more frequently as this implies a higher quality purchaser okay I don't really understand this sentence a recent survey conducted by the world market system reported a significant change in people's apostrophe s Buying patterns because they believe that the more a product is sold, the higher its quality and the admiration towards the buyer. Okay, that makes a little more sense. On the whole, the relationship between quality of popular goods and the way people imitate purchasing patterns is clear. Alright, that's interesting. To sum up, imitation among human beings is increasingly seen as a result of popular items of clothing or material. Um, no, not exactly. Imitation among human beings is increasingly seen... Uh, in the purchase, purchasing of, um, you could say that, yeah, in the purchasing of popular items of clothing or materials. This is mainly because uh, liv living in a materialistic world makes people believe in standards of popularity and quality that are worthy to follow. I completely agree with this perspective and foresee the maintenance of this trend over the following years. Okay, um, now, this was generally very nicely done. You had a lot of elements that I liked. There were some areas that I kind of struggled with. You could see that I, I hesitated uh, in certain points when I was reading it. When you see that happens, it basically means that there's something that doesn't entirely flow naturally. Not necessarily that it's wrong or that there's like a specific grammar rule, but sometimes it means that it's just not something that the eye or the mouth flows over easily, okay? Um, so sometimes you should look out for those uh, points and think that maybe, hmm, maybe I could have expressed this idea in a more fluid, in a simpler, um, in a more natural way. Um, there were a lot of elements that I liked. I liked your development, so on the whole, that was good. There were a couple of areas that I thought, well, maybe the development here wasn't entirely perfect okay and I think I pointed those out to you but you've uh, certainly crafted a nice essay so well done 
keep on writing for us, Angelica. I really want to see more of these from you. I think that um, it will do you good to continue to get feedback. I'd also like to see some of your task ones to see what you're doing there. Um, think about the way you express some of these ideas, okay, and make sure that you do stay on point in terms of your task response. So uh, that brings us to the end of this correction. Lots of luck with your writing, and like I said, please write for us more. I'd like to see uh, what you have to say in other essays as well, okay? So looking forward to seeing more from you.